viewers, welcome to episode 18 of this GSM 50 restoration. I uh, hope you're enjoying the series, we're uh, getting towards the end, which is exciting. Um, feel free to uh, like the video or subscribe so you can see when uh, new videos are put up. Um, in this episode we'll be concentrating on the exhaust system so that's the last major part of the uh, of the build before we start trying to fire this thing up and uh, see if we can get it tuned and running properly um, so yeah sit back and uh, and watch this as we uh, receive the uh, exhausts and uh, try and work out how we can uh, get the headers built so um this arrived at the front door just a few minutes ago, which is the Marving silencers for the GS750. I ordered these back on the 10th of March, just before the shutdown happened. Uh, it's now, what is it, early June. So um, yeah, let's hope that uh, what's inside is what I'm expecting. The labels on the outside seem to indicate it's the right uh, silencers for a 1977 GS750 in chrome so let's have a look and see what's inside silences which is a good start. This was probably the hardest thing to find because there's a lot of four into one exhaust systems for this bike, but I wanted to go with the original four into two in chrome and uh, trying to find that um, is very difficult. Uh, finally found these. Marvin don't make the headers, so I've found a local supplier who can make the headers for me. Uh, once these are fitted on, I have to measure up, make some diagrams of what we need, and that will be just about the last thing, I think. So these came all the way from Italy. Um, just as I placed the order, the factory shut down for obvious reasons. Side. Uh, back here is sort of looking pretty close to what the original looked like. Uh, so I guess the next step is to try it on the bike and see how it fits. So I'll unpack the other one in a minute, but um, that's looking very good. So. Uh, the next step, once they're on the bike, then I need to get the headers custom made because nobody seems to make those. So 
Um, I have a guy down in Tasmania who can build them for me in stainless steel. So my plan is to do some engineering drawings and uh, make some templates for the uh, cylinders one and four seem very similar and two and three are, are similar so um, that will be the final uh, final piece to all this puzzle so that's good news so that's the two exhaust systems unpacked um, I've just done a sort of a test test fitting uh, up near the mounting holes and all that seems correct so uh, can't wait to put these on and then start measuring up for the headers but uh, yeah they look uh, beautiful so now that we have received the silencers um, the next step is to mount them on and then work out these uh, header pipes now as I've said before I can't find brand new ones and nobody seems to make them so I've organized a company in Tasmania called Verex and they're gonna make them for me out of uh, stainless steel so I will uh, mount the silencers um, and then using a series of photos off the internet and also a, uh, a YouTube follower called Fabian who sent me some uh, detailed side-on photographs doing some measurements of this hole here I also managed to source um, a set of four of these off eBay which are in really good condition so that gives me some good dimensions as well um, and then start drawing up some diagrams and I'm also making some multi-piece templates for um, the actual headers so that when I send that down to the manufacturer they can um, you know, match that up and get them the, exactly the right shape. Um, the part numbers for headers two and three are exactly the same so they go down and join up underneath to the exhausts and one and four are a different part number which I, they looked identical to me but now that I've looked at some of the detailed photos it looks like the um, the pipe on uh, the right hand side number four drops down just slightly lower than the one on this side so this side tends to sit about level with the, the frame top of the frame rail there and then on the other side it's just slightly lower so um, there'll be slightly different templates to use for those but um, I'll know the exact position once I've mounted the um, exhaust. The other interesting thing when the exhaust came is um, previously I bought these um, rubber stoppers for the center stand and the side stand and that one goes there which um, stops the center stand from hitting the frame and the other one was this this one here which the only place I could see to fit it was a little bracket underneath here a little tin bracket with a hole and that was way too small so I ended up trimming this down to fit it in there and then the side stand didn't go anywhere near it so it wasn't until I received the exhaust system the other day but there is a little bracket on this side exhaust but this rubber goes in so I'll have to secure that properly somehow so um, yeah next I'll, uh, I'll show you some of the um, some of the templates, the multi-piece sort of template cardboards that I'm using to uh, work out exactly the C, uh, the shape of the of the, um, the header pipes. So this is the left-hand silencer. Um, it bolts on here and here. That's a 10 mil. Uh, that's a 8 mil. I have some uh, some new uh, stainless steel bolts, washers, etc. So let's fit that and start to work out where this is all going to go. It's not going to be the side of it. Not 
not sure that hole lines up perfectly, but we'll see. Yeah, I think that's gonna need a slight file of those holes because it's just slightly too close. So I'll do that and we'll try again. So I'll just fold this front hole a little bit. Uh, I was only up by maybe a millimeter. So let's try that again. Now, and now it gives us the positions for where the headers need to meet these so we can use the templates that I've made to see how they match up down there. So I'll put the other side on and uh, then we'll work from there. So that's the left muffler or silencer on. Um, Bit of a view from the back, which looks good. I'll play with those just to get them perfectly level. And then um, the right hand muffler on. So looking very shiny. Now we can see where those uh, headers need to meet up with. That's the uh, right hand side and then the left hand side and uh, whether you can notice that number one there is pretty much level with the top of the frame and number four is a little bit below so that explains why headers one and four are slightly different whereas three and four are pretty much pretty much the same so we'll move on to the templates so I've been talking about these templates that I am putting together to help the manufacturer build my headers for this bike. Um, what I'm using to design the templates is the things that I can measure off the bike and also then using photos um, from side on to uh, do some measurements. So these two photos here were sent to me by one of my YouTube subscribers, Fabian from Switzerland, who has a, a very nice uh, GS750 in original condition. 
So I asked him to send me some uh, photos of his headers, which he has done. Uh, thanks, Fabian. So what can we measure? We can measure the angle of the, the exhaust port here, which is 25 degrees from vertical. And we can also then measure the angle of the, the frame rail here, which is 21 degrees. Um, so that means that this bend here is slightly less than 90 degrees, and it turns out to be 86 degrees. So that it comes out of the exhaust port and then runs parallel down next to the frame rail there. I've also determined that uh, the radius of this bend here from photos is around about 75 millimetres. Um, I can then also measure the hole where the header goes in and the, and the, uh, the collet uh, that goes at the end of the uh, headers. Um, I can take some measurements from the uh, from these uh, brackets that hold the hold the uh, the headers in, so I've got uh, a set of them that I got from eBay. So we can start making some measurements and then um, doing parts of the template. Now this section here is straight, comes down parallel to the front frame. I've estimated that to be approximately 80 millimeters, so that's what I've done on the template. So I've created, for example, this first template here, which is for. Um, Headers number one and number four. So we've got the uh, collet size up there. So uh, the other thing we can measure is the actual pipe diameter, which it turns out to be 38 millimeters or inch and a half. Um, and I've measured that from where it goes into the uh, to the new exhaust. So that gives us that measurement. Uh, I can measure the uh, hole where this goes in and make that slightly less, a couple of mils less. This measurement here is about 20 millimeters and then this collet uh, fits over there and pushes the, uh, uh, this uh, boss here against the, uh, the uh, compressible um, gaskets that go in there. So that comes out, uh, out about 30 millimeters estimated straight, then does a 75 millimeter radius turn, and then goes straight down parallel to the, to the frame rail. And I've marked off about 80 millimeters there where um, I think that uh, that measurement is roughly 80 millimetres based on this diagram here, or this photo. So the bottom end of the headers uh, runs along the bottom of the bike, parallel with the ground or parallel with the uh, frame, uh, and is 38 millimetres diameter, and goes into the collectors on the exhaust. I've measured that uh, they go in approximately 60 millimetres will be enough to make a good seal. So I've cut these two strips at 38 millimetres wide and they will go along the bottom. Um, then I've calculated the uh, radius of the bottom turn. Um, I forget what that is at the moment. It's 150, something like that. And then I've cut these sections here with that radius and then some straight pieces. So the idea is that I will, um, for example, on this one here, take one of these, put it over the top, line it up, um, and then use some uh, bulldog clips to hold that in place. Then also uh, bulldog clips here to hold this in place. I'll then put that up against the bike, make sure this is fitting flat against the exhaust port and then basically adjust these these lengths so that this end goes 60 millimeters into the uh, into the exhaust so i've uh, determined that headers number two and number three are exactly the same because they have exactly the same suzuki part number uh, headers one and four are pretty close but um they're slightly different lengths so this length here will be um, by the looks of things, something that maybe a centimetre slightly different because the right-hand pipe goes uh, sits a little bit lower than the left. So that's my plan on how to come up with the templates uh, that the manufacturer can use to manufacture my headers so that when they arrive, hopefully they just uh, bolt straight on and uh, slip straight into the exhaust. So let's see how that uh, actually turns out.
So my uh, plans for these templates have changed a little bit. I started to do some drawings and templates based on the actual radiuses on the original pipes, but um, then I realized that uh, the company making the headers would only have certain size mandrels that they can use to bend the pipe. So I contacted them and um, the two that I'm going to use, the, the pipe itself is 38 mil inch and a half diameter uh, and they have what's called one and a half D. So one and a half uh, of the diameter to the center of the bend. So this bend up here is one and a half D and then down the bottom I'm using a 3D and they're the two sizes that he has. So I've redone the templates, cut them out again, um, done the measurements and then, uh, you know, with these uh, bulldog clips holding it together and we're going into the collector there by about 70 millimetres. So that is number one done. So now that that's done and seems to fit, I'll tape these three pieces together. So this is one piece, the bend is another piece and the straight piece is another piece. So I'll tape them together, do um, one of these for cylinder one, one for cylinder four, cylinder two and three are uh, almost identical. It's just that the uh, where they go into the collector down underneath is just slightly different. So I'll use do one, uh, one template for that with two different lengths on that uh, bottom section. So uh, that's the plan. Um, hopefully get them finished today and sent off to Paul at Verex down in uh, Tasmania and um, uh, he can uh, make them out of stainless steel and send them back and we're on our way with the exhaust system then. So these are the finished uh, templates for headers one, two and three and four. Um, compared them up to the bike and finally adjusted the, uh, the ratios and dimensions and things so I'll uh, pack them up and send them down to Paul at Verex and uh, hopefully you can whip them around fairly quickly. So that's it for episode 18. Um, made some very good progress with the exhaust and uh, it was certainly exciting to receive that package from Italy with the exhaust and uh, very happy with the, with the silences from Marving. Um, they're not exact copies, but um, they're very, very close. You'd be very hard pressed to uh, spot the differences. Um, and uh, we've done our templates and we've sent them off to Paul at uh, Verex down in Tasmania. You can check him out on his Facebook page. Um, and I've been in touch with him. He's received the templates. So uh, fingers crossed we'll be getting those back very soon and uh, we can install them and fire this thing up and uh, see how it sounds and get it running properly and then uh, maybe even get it registered. So um, if you've enjoyed this, then uh, click on like or uh, subscribe and hit the bell button so you see when uh, you know, new videos are coming up. Um, we're getting towards the end of the build, but I'm sure there'll be a few more videos around getting the thing running properly and uh, you know, getting it registered and maybe even a test ride. So. Um, Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in episode 19.